Well, hello, Carolyn. I'll start with this one. I've got a few things to show you today, and I hope you're well. Um, first Saturday of the school holidays in lockdown still. We went into the lockdown on the first Saturday of the last school holiday, so it's been 12 weeks, and it's... Um, annoying. Anyway, I thought I'd show you to start with this one. It was the one that had a bit of root uh, stem rot or crown rot. Um, it didn't flower for ages. It did last year, I, sh I think I showed it to you. But this year, I hope you can see because you can't really see what I'm doing. All these branches, and I think I'll get around about 25 flowers from this one this year. So, uh, very happy with it, very um, excited to see how it goes when it uh, does bloom. And I do remember it's got a beautiful burgundy vel um, colour and it's a very velvety flower. So, um, looking forward to that coming out. Uh, I hope this is in shot. Uh, that's one of those magic art or um, type orchids. It's doing quite well, except the leaf on it split when I watered it yesterday. I tapped it down because I thought the bark down here was starting to come too loose and then that split so sometimes um, leaves just split because you're too rough with them and you don't mean it. Alright, here's another one of my branches, so there's three branches on this. Um, it's a beautiful yellow colour, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, this one had a great big, I think it was, I don't, can't remember why I had to cut that leaf off, but I had to, the, the leaf went terrible, but um, this new one came out and it's perfectly fine, so um, happy days, I suppose. Um, now, I'll show you, this one's a bit crazy with its aerial roots. Doesn't like to hold on to any leaves, but it always puts out a nice long spike. Um, I'm just trying to find the other one. Oh, there it is right in front of me. Um, it's got a twin um, with the same flower. Um, the spike on this is a bit longer and it's got more leaves. So that could perhaps be, be it. Um, I'll do a bit of a close up on them later, I think. I'm not sure, but um, I'm getting all entangled. <clears throat> this is um, one of those plain white ones. The leaves on this, I mean, some of them are getting ready to go, but it's really done well. This is a friend of mine's. I was hoping to give it back to her when it was in bud and ready to flower, but because we've been in lockdown, I haven't been able to see her or give it to her. I've sent her a photo, um, but I'm quite pleased with how she's come along this year. I'm gonna try and be quick. Um, this one's a bit of a beauty. I um, had forgotten how nice it was and I think well it's certainly um, big lipped so um, it's doing quite well I'm still having trouble with those mealy bugs I still I still find them in the branches and in the corners of branches where the spike flowers are coming out so I just have to keep on top of it
A um, little bit disappointed with this one this year. I remember when I bought it that the flower spike was much longer. It had more flowers on it the first time. Um, and it did struggle, as you can tell. Um, the first couple of new leaves when I had it were smaller. The newer ones are coming in bigger. So hopefully next year um, we'll have a better result. This one, it's got one branch, but it's a pure yellow and white one. It's quite good. Um, lots of aerial roots coming out. The roots inside the pot are doing fine. So once again, happy days with that. Now, I know I've shown you this before many, many times, but I'm still very proud of it. Um, probably the best, well, I won't say the best show I've got so far this year because when that when I showed you that still all in bud comes out, I think it's going to give anything a show, a, anything a good uh, run for its money. But she certainly has put on a beautiful show for me this this season. This one I call her twin, and I think I sent you a photo. I did, not long ago. All right, so this is a separate branch here, or a separate flower spike, I should say. And it's got uh, two stems there and the main one. So, um, I love this one, it's quite nice. It's got a leaf yellowing, but it's doing okay. Some of these I, I will repot, like you can see there, there's some brown, they're not mushy, but they're brown. So that's obviously from when I first potted it up um, to now, but um, quite beautiful. Now, the rescue one on this bag. Yep. So I just sit it on it. It did have a viable root there, but it's rotted. But there's one there, another root there, root there, one there, and one there. So I know I know it's all very limp and sad looking, but I would say in another month I'll have some pretty good roots where I'll be able to um, pot it up and save it. And I really wanted to because it's one of those ones with the mottled leaf. And um, I certainly don't want to lose it. Normally, if I had a orchid that had lost all its roots, it would go straight in the bin. But because um, I can't be bothered, but this one, I'm quite determined. Um, I've got loads more in spike and in bud um, in their growing area, but I'm, I'm not going to take you through all of those. Um, so I just wanted to show you how things were going. Hope you're well over there. I hope um, anyone else who might tune in um, are well. Um, so that's it from me. See you later.